got to get because – um, it, ain't really been that, I mean, it ain't been that exciting to me outside the Kendrick, outside of what Kendrick been doing, really, to me. Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, I like to see more R and B verses than rap, in my opinion. Absolutely, cause we ain't got enough of it, right? We ain't had enough. Nah, I mean, but versus, you know, that was for the pandemic, though. You know what I'm saying? After the pandemic started losing its you know, it's strength, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was with the pandemic. Right, it's different when people can sit at home and they got time to actually watch the, you know, just the days when they can Yeah, because artists wasn't day. making no money. Nobody was making no, no bread, bread, you know? Nobody was touring. They right. couldn't perform. They could put out albums, but they couldn't perform. They couldn't promote. Right. So, yeah, I mean, I'd love to see Versus come back. There are some Versus that I was interested in. I mean, I, I'm more so R&B than anything. I'm about to say, because hip-hop, who going to really do it? Is Jay-Z really going to do it? No. Everybody, everybody's scared. The only person that I think is not scared of a Versus is Kendrick. Everybody else should. should. Yeah. <laughs> and I, now that I look at, now that I've seen that concert, that even though it was in Compton, but it's still like the way he performed. I that, really that, wish that, that we could have got that T.I. and 50 Cent one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think they should do no no less than that. Like they should do all the big names, like Fifty versus Ti. Yeah, Fifty should have Fifty should have took the Ti versus. They should let Ludacris, they should let Ludacris do it again and let him do it on stage instead of Instagram. Like Ludacris. Oh my god, show. so horrible. That was that so was bad. terrible. But I don't think he should go against Nelly though. I think he should go against uh. It was a good matchup for Luda. You got. I mean, Nelly. Nelly was. Yeah, Nelly was a Nelly good matchup. Against, Oh, yeah, so it's different, yeah. Nelly, yeah, Nelly, Nelly kept playing bullshit. That's why he got his ass whooped. Darnie was on some bull. Why he didn't play that um that song that come on before Flap Your Wings? He was like, he was snapping on it. It's like, why you ain't playing none of your rap song? You just playing like trying to play all the poppy stuff, and you guys cooked. No, <laughs> well, he was playing like album fillers, like shit or or new shit that we ain't heard. I'm yeah, like, yeah, nigga, yeah. listen to this. It's like, nigga, you are 15 that. years past your prime, bro. Nobody checking for you no more. You got lucky with the fix a few years ago. Yeah. Like, you got lucky with that song. But you right. Because he your ass is on the mustard wave. You rolled the mustard wave. Right. With the fix. Like, you got he lucky. Because Rival Me was big. Rival Me was crazy. Well, Nelly, you know, Nelly's like in the late 90s as far as the uh, top 100 is concerned because of the commercial success. Like, he was very... His commercial success was insane. Oh, so you can't deny. I know what you're saying. You can't even deny, even though he probably wouldn't be in your you personal top him. 100 best rappers, but I know what you're saying. He, you got to give him credit, but yeah. I, he, he definitely changed the game, put St. Louis on the map. He had big hit records. You know, it's kind of like what Hammer did in the, in the 90s, or in the 80s, in the 90s. Yep. Exactly. But Nelly's just a better rapper than Hammer. That's that's just what it is. It's that's just, just the what fact. it is. Yeah, you're right. That's just, yeah. He rapped good enough to make the top 100. I put it like that. Nelly. Like, yes. You heard he him on Grill, good like, enough. Number one. It's, it's, what does it take to be number one? You heard him rapping a little bit. Yeah, so, like Nelly, Nelly's style was, 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 dope, was dope. I, I like Nelly. Like, I fuck with Like, I like his early shit. Like, Nelly. Uh -huh. Nelly, Nelly was straight for his time. He was good for his time period. He started off with a Diamond album, and then Nelly Bill went seven Ooh. times platinum. God so damn! Williams just in the U.S. on two albums. <laughs> that is fucking insane. That yeah. dude was doing number. You, number you know, you, you competing with Jay, day. with Eminem, yep. Fifty Cent, Ludacris, Ti. You know, you you outselling these niggas, Ja Rule, and all them niggas. This nigga was on TRL every fucking day with NSYNC and, and, and all this shit. Like, this, yep. people forgot Nelly's peak. They weren't around. Yeah, they just know him for being with Ashanti right now. People they forgot. They remember on the, the young people probably even, some people that seen him on, like, ESPN or he used to be on First Take or whatever, they probably thought he was just a, oh, he a sports analyst. I know he's like, a rapper, bro. He's not. Nah, that <laughs> nigga, that nigga... <laughs> That nigga, man, them them singles on that country grammar was tough. It was a ride with 
I mean, EI, and, um, yeah, Country Grammar. Country Grammar, Batter Up, like all of them was huge. That's, Those are huge records. Crazy singles here. Then Nellyville had what? The, the Kelly Rowan track. Oh man, I Air hated that fucking song, but it was, it was, it. I understood the they hype. Overplayed it. They, yeah, they overplayed it, but yeah. Well, that's 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 how they did everything. You know, people right. request. In that shit, people want that shit. You know, that's the radio. I thought about it because that rule was on um, that uh, that put it on me, whatever. That 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 was on uh, one hundred sixty. Oh yeah, one yeah. for like twenty one straight. It was like ja. it was so crazy. It was more. Ja, than that. Was Nelly, that all them niggas had it at one point. They they had the game rolling. Those were those are the forgotten people. You know, they it's forgot funny, about because it's, it's funny because they both saw him and ja Rule so more than DMX. But now when you look at hip hop, now when people mention DMX, always get mentioned. At least top 15, 20. Like, people always get him ranked pretty high. DMX is in my top 15 for sure. Yeah. Like, X, X was special. You know, they compare him to Pac a lot, but I think they're different. I think Tupac was more revolutionary. DMX was more for.